Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of... <coughs> I don't know what I'm going to name it yet, but it's going to be something to do with off-roading. So, we're going to be doing an off-road test on the... Let's make sure I get the name right so I don't completely be terrible at it. It's called the Technical Aqua. This thing here is a pretty great truck overall. It <clears throat> drives pretty good. It can go in water, which is pretty awesome if you ask me. You can use different weapons in there, unlike the Blazer Aqua. It's not as fast in the water as the other one, but you got a nice big machine gun on it. <clears throat> the Blazer Aqua, you can't use any explosives or throwables or any handheld guns on it. Oh my. Dang, this thing just got right out of it. Oh. Okay. The one oc the one thing that kinda sucks about this thing is the floatables on the side. They get caught on things. They make you spin out. They stop you from passing things. But that's what comes when you want a floatable truck, right? A huge gun on the back, which you can have three people on this one. The Blazer Aqua is only one. Watch. You can you have a nice big gun on this one. And you can customize it just like the Blazer Aqua. So let's just test the off roading on this one. So the turning's alright. It's not the best. It could be better. First person, pretty good. Hey. Okay, so now we're gonna take it through here. Oh. So like once you kinda you can't really the brakes aren't that good, it's I don't know. It's not the same, let's put it that way, so. We're gonna take it. Whoa, what the heck happened there? I don't even know. Okay, we'll test the brakes where we tested the brakes with the aqua. We'll go down here. So it definitely can't fit in all the places that the blazer could fit. The blazer easily made it up there. Uh, this thing. Kind of struggling. Yep. I don't think it's gonna. Yeah, have to find other ways. Oh man, and a train comes at the exact same time. How nice. Blazer one, but other than that, let's climb this hill. So I think I climbed it actually down here with the blazer. Let's go head down here and try to climb. So this thing again, no problem. It can do it easily. I'm actually like getting air going so fast up this hill. Go up the green spot. Whoa. Oh, got a little too much air. But once you start rolling, you can't really stop. Okay. Oh, there we go. So now let's test driving sideways on a hill. So it's actually doing really good on the sideways part. It just gets a lot of air, which is kind of hard. And, but other than that, I think this would be a perfect. If you're looking for a truck that f can fit, or you, if you're looking for something that can go on water, go on land, and fit more than one person, this would be the thing you'd want to get. But I, to be completely honest, enjoy the Aqua more because the Aqua handles a little more better than this. It's not as bulky. It can fit in small areas and it climbs hills better. It can just it has a fast acceleration. Acceleration. This is struggling hardcore because it can't, it's not turning the best. Once it gets out a, li a little out of control, it's kind of done. One thing nice about this though is you can just go stri straight into water and not even have to turn into aqua mode. There's no aqua mode on this. See, you can hold it down if you want. It's, there's no aqua mode. It's just normal. So. So, but once you take it in the water, it's not as fast, which is not my favorite. But if you're trying to take out like aircrafts or like boats and stuff, this would be a perfect, perfect thing to use because this is high enough where you can aim at it. The Blazer Aqua can't really aim up and down unless you hit a bump or anything. 
This thing you can turn in the air when you're in a, in the air. The Blazer Aqua kind of just stays flat, which is not the best in some cases. So let's drive this way. We're gonna take it up, up and down some rapids after we climb this hill over here to finish it out. Uh, oh. So I like the acceleration on some of these parts. So like right over here, it gets going. Same with the blazer, but this one is, I just feel more like enjoy, enjoyable driving this on hills, but I enjoy the blazer aqua on water because this is a little slow for me. So if we can gun this down and hit a ledge, that would be great. There we go. So now we're just going to, whoa, what the heck, whatever. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to drive it into the water. So this is actually cruising a pretty good in this area because I'm pretty sure the wheels are going on the bottom and helping it. Uh, this is does way better in these huge bump scenarios when you're driving. This doesn't have to when it hits like a bump or something. It doesn't have to go back in the regular mode and then back in the aqua mode. It kind of can just stay in one, which is very nice when you're in like a good getaway and then you hit a bump and then there's cops behind you you just keep driving so like if I like missed my turn and then I just go like crap on the blazer aqua I would have had to take a second or two and that those seconds could have got me shot and I could have died so this does really help a lot and yeah let's go take it up to the end so like in the end I suggest it all depends on if you want to have people with you when you're driving on the water if you if you're just like usually play alone and screw around and online by yourself you don't really have friends playing with you then I would totally go for the blazer aqua it would help you so much more because this is kinda useless if you're alone you can't really shoot it by yourself it's unless you want to get out on the back and then shoot it but then you can't be driving so blazer aqua is nice there but other than that, this is overall a good truck. It's a little clump, it's a little like bulky, but other than that, I would recommend it. The price, the price is a uh, like a little less than the the Blazer Aqua. We can go test that in one second. So here we go. We got to our campsite. So let's pull it up on. Or stock cash and carry. Kitchen carry. Okay. So the Blazer Aqua is 1.32 million. And the technical is either 1.4 million if you want to buy it right now, or it's 1.12 million. So it's about 200k cheaper than the. Bla or, yeah, 200k cheaper than the Blazer, and it can hold more people. So, if you're on a little tighter budget and don't want to pay the extra, and you have friends that play, I would go for this 100%. Unless, all, or you can, all your friends can get the Blazer Aqua, and then you can have a huge gang. That would be okay too. So, so it does not protect the gunner at all so thank you guys for watching have a fantastic day see you guys later and peace out